Hello, and in today's STM32 programming with a blue poll, we are going to be doing the project setup. So in STM32 cube, to create a new project, we say file, new, STM32 project, and then we just wait for it to initialize the project configurator. Now we can say it's initializing the STM32 target selector. And now it's just updating its part selector. Okay, so once it's done downloading, you will be greeted with a window that looks like this. And now for the blue poll, it uses a STM32F103D6TR. And we can just select the part over here. You can actually select based on a certain parameters what chip you would like to use. So it's also nice to find the specific chip for your application. But for our case, we are going to be using the blue poll, which uses the STM-F103C8TX. I mean, in my case, it is a TR. It's possible that yours has another chip on it than the TR, but this is the one that's on my blue poll. So we just click next year we are going to select the target as c++ then we have to give it a name i'm just going to call it project as this is just a setup for the project then we click next then here we can select where it downloads the sdk if we click firmware updater we can change where we want the sdk to download for my case inside the virtual machine i'm going to let it download into the default directory if i was using this on my main desktop i would have it on one of my other hard drives then we just click apply and close and then we select copy only the necessary library files and we click finish then we want to open the perspective as soon as we are done so we click yes okay now it's downloading the software's package that's specific to the stm32 f1 series Okay, now it's done downloading. Now you will be greeted with a project setup file. Now you can move this around by just dragging it, forward scrolling to zoom in, right click and also move it around. And then you have all your core settings over here on the side. So the first thing we're going to do is configure the clock. So we go to the system core, then system. This will open up the settings for the particular drop down. Then the debugging is going to be serial wire. So that automatically occupies PA14 and PA13. So we are going to be using the SWD interface. Then we go to the RCC tab. For the blue pill, it has a 8 megahertz high speed oscillator crystal so we're going to select crystal and then it also has an rtc source but we're not going to be enabling that so that's the basic implementation then we go to the clock configurator now this will display the entire clock settings for you we are going to be selecting the high speed clock you can just follow the arrow di diagrams we are going to set that to pll and this one as well to pll clock now you can see here the blue pole board has a 8 megahertz crystal on it so we don't need to change the input frequency over here we are going to set it to the high speed external oscillator with the pll clock selected then we just input our frequency here which is going to be the maximum of 72 megahertz and then we just click enter and then it automatically calculates the clock settings for us then in in the project manager we go to the code generator and then in the general files we select generate peripheral initialization as a pair of c and h files so we click generate there and then that should be all that is necessary then we just save this so i'm just pressing ctrl s and then it's going to ask if you want to generate the code we just click yes over here and we want to switch to the C++ perspective after we have generated the code. So just yes over here. Then we wait for it to generate our code. Okay, now once the code's generated, your main file will be located in core source. All your source files will be here and then your includes will be here as well. And then you have your SDK, which is located in the driver. So your STM32 hull 
libraries over here and then your includes over here as well as the legacy hull driver. Then we have our linker script which sets up our memory. Now we can open our main.c. Now you'll note I generated this project as a C++ project but it only generates a C main file. So all your code is contained in here. First thing we're going to do is just check that everything works. So we just click build, which is the hammer icon up here. And we can see our project has successfully built. And you can see how much RAM it's using and how much flash it's using on the side over here. Now to create this as a C++ project, we need to rename this file to a .tpp file and then we just click OK and then we build again and now we have it as a C++ project. Sometimes it throws an error if you have built the project before having it as a .cpp file all you need to do is just go to the debug folder where all your outputs are generated and just right click on that and delete that that will destroy the entire build so you have to build from scratch then we just build again and we have a successfully built project now the unfortunate thing is if we say change something here and we save and we generate again you'll see it generates another main.c file again what we want to do is we want to go to resource configuration and say exclude from build. Then we want to exclude it from both the debug and release build. And we build again just to double check that everything works and everything is working. And that is the project set up for the STM32 Blue Pill in QBMX. A like, share, comment and subscribe is always appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.